All right, so in this video, I'm going to um, continue with our Connect 4 game. Uh, in the last video, we ended up, we created our little grid. Um, we have some text here letting us know it's Red's turn to start the game, but nothing happens as I click on the screen here. So let's, uh, let's change that up. Um, we're going to come in here and do a few things with our uh, code. Um, so you may remember um, last time I told you we had this turn variable that's set to two. Um, it's even and thus it's red's turn whenever it's even. So it's going to be red's turn to start out. Every time we press the board, um, we're going to increment turn. We at the end of this, we will put in some uh, logic for dealing with if somebody clicks the screen, but not necessarily the grid because um, you don't want it to take a turn at that point. Right. Um, and so this is where we have uh, it displaying red's turn. And so we're going to use modulus to uh, rotate between red's turn and green's turn. Um, anyone who's ever used that before is probably familiar with what I'm going to do. Um, but this is what it would look like. Let me put red's turn in here in this part of the if statement. So I have an, an if statement that is saying if turn modulus 2, which remember modulus means um, this basically reads turn divided by two, what's the remainder? And let's see if that is equal to zero. Um, if something divided by two has a remainder of zero, that's an even number, so it would be red's turn. Otherwise, else, it's yellow. So that's how that works. Nothing too complicated, All right? Um, so now let's, let's, try to get, um, let's try to get it so that when we click on the screen, we can tell which um, grid in our grid, remember our name of our um, array is called grid. We want to know which row and column we are clicking in so that we will set that accordingly. Um, so we're going to do that down the mouse press because we get access via this mouse event thing here to an X and Y coordinates. Okay. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll just show you. This is kind of what it looks like. This is how you figure that out. So you take your X, divide that by the cell width. Remember, that's a variable that we made as a class variable that's 40. And that's going to give you, that's going to give you your um, position in our grid for the um, on the X coordinate. Okay. Um, we could we can figure this, we can test this out by um, putting X spot here. And let's connect it with a plus sign. And do the same thing here. I just want to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to uncomment this and compile. And let's run this. And we should get, as we click on the box here, I'll click right here. This box should be 0, 1, um, 0, 1. So it should be 1, 1. Click here. And um, why is it giving us that weird value? Get an X, and then we're getting X spot. Um, oh, there's no space in between here. That's what I did wrong. Rookie mistake. Because that this is the one here. So it was working just fine. Um, but let me just run it again, just so you can kind of see. All right. So click here. Um, on our X spot, it was 56. Divide that by 40, it's 1. And that's correct. That's the right spot. On the Y, it was the same thing. It was 56 down. Divide that by. And we can test this out. Let's go over here. This should be 0, 1, 2, and then 0. So 0, 1, 2, and 0. All right? Perfect. Because if you divide in 23, it, only, it doesn't go in once. So it's got to be 0 is the uh, answer there. So that works out well. So we can actually tell where we are in our grid now um, using that simple math. And it's not complicated, but it might not be obvious if you're new to programming. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna do something very similar to what we did up in the paint method for rotating turns. We're gonna do it um, right here, and we're gonna put in the, another, doing our same modulus trick, and we're gonna say we're gonna substitute in these for the parts of the grid um, and the X so the, since the X you know starts at the left hand side and goes to the right 
that kind of it does sound kind of seems counterintuitive it seems like this should be x and this should be y but the remember the x is going from left to right that's really your columns and the y is starting at zero at the at the top of the screen and going down so that's really your rows and remember in java you go row column so that's why they are in those spots and so red when it's even and this is yellow um, so when you create a new color this is rgb if you have red and uh, green up real high and blue down it's going to make you a yellow so um, let's test it out and see that it's working oh i click there so yeah we're getting a good rotation reds turn red perfect so that's working great um so the next video I'm going to show you how to, when you click here, this one should actually drop down and be right here. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll continue this logic. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions and look forward to part three.